So what is this idea of code as a conversation? Well, in my work, I work as a, a spreadsheet consultant, a developer, a lecturer, a trainer. I work with a lot of people who are trying to get better uh, at Excel and particularly get better uh, at programming. Um, and what's intrigued me uh, over the years is people's mindset. So the way they're thinking about Excel, how we initially approach Excel. And I think there's a fundamental problem here. And the fundamental problem is to do with the way we typically access Excel and, and the way we're typically exposed to it for the first time, because usually uh, people will access it as part of the Microsoft Office suite. So they'll access it alongside programs such as PowerPoint and Word. And clearly, you know, I'm not critical of Microsoft or the Office Suite, clearly this is a great tool. But there is a problem uh, with Excel because Word and PowerPoint uh, tend to be fairly straightforward to use. Now clearly, uh, you know, the PowerPoint experts out there will be saying, but there's a lot of functionality that people don't use in PowerPoint. You know, that's definitely true. But I think overall it's fair to say if you were to, to take Word, PowerPoint, and Excel side by side and to compare people's experience of using each, Excel would be the most frustrating. And I don't think it's just a little bit more frustrating. I think, you know, Word might be two out of 10 frustration, uh, PowerPoint five out of 10. I think Excel is like 11 out of 10 for a lot of people. It seems to be intensely frustrating, much more so than the other programs uh, in the Office suite. So through my work in, in the past few years, definitely I've been reflecting on why that is. And if we, if we think about Word and PowerPoint, so well, Word is a, a word processing platform, PowerPoint is a platform for making presentations, so primarily inputting some information and positioning it. Excel is something completely different. Excel is actually a very sophisticated uh, modeling tool. And it's not something where we can just input information and then view that information straight away. It's something where we input some information and then create relationships between cells, so create relationships between those pieces of information that we can't even see because we're defining those, relationship, those relationships using formulae or through using VBA programming. You know, those things are generally invisible. When you open up Excel, uh, you don't see the formulae straight away. Um, it is a skill in itself to know what to do to order, to order to spreadsheet and to know what to do to really understand what's going on in a spreadsheet. It, it, it requires lots and lots of, of clicking around to do that. And I think this is the fundamental, pro uh, the fundamental problem when people are trying to earn, learn Excel. They think, well, I've got Word down. I'm pretty good with Word. PowerPoint, I can create a PowerPoint presentation and they've got this mindset, which is quite a kind of linear way of thinking about things. You know, I put information on the page, manipulate it, move it around, and that's the way to get things done. But Excel is completely different to that. It's a modeling tool. We're gonna to have to define relationships between the different components using formulae and programming. It's an altogether different proposition. And this means that people easily get frustrated because they've got the same level of expectation as when they're using Word or when they're using PowerPoint. This is intensely frustrating when you get onto Excel and it's very difficult, firstly, to get it to do what you want it to do, but not only that, it's very difficult to understand why it's not doing what you want it to do because you can't see what's going on. You can't see the formulae and you can't see the code. So, and this part is certainly aimed at the coders out there. Um, I think a better mindset is to try to work on this code as a conversation idea. And I think if we try to get Excel to do something, just like in PowerPoint, it's quite easy to get the stuff displaying as you want it to display. If we come with that mindset, we're gonna find it very difficult um, to get Excel uh, working for us. That's because it's much more intricate. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. A much better mindset to adopt is to actually think, you know, I'm gonna have a dialogue with Excel. We're gonna have a conversation about this. Just like if you're in a meeting 
or if you're working with some employees and you wanted them to do something for you, the only way these days anyway, is to have a conversation with them about that. And during the course of that conversation, you would say, yeah, okay, you know, this is my plan. I'm looking for you to do X, Y, and Z. But then, you know, these days, they're not just gonna go and do that. They'd say, okay, boss, yeah, but what about this? Can we get some clarification on that? Could you give me some more detail here? And there would be a dialogue, a two-way dialogue. Uh, but the outcome from that dialogue is usually uh, that both parties understand and what needs to get done, gets done. So that's the mindset that over the years I've been able to adopt as a programmer and I've had great success with it. And how does it work in a practical sense? Well, if I'm doing some coding, and you can see this uh, very well in the tutorial videos on the channel, um, I'm always using um, the facilities that Excel provides to help me understand what's going wrong. And what are some of those things? Well, firstly, just clicking on a cell that contains a formula. Yeah, just clicking on a cell that contains a formula. It's going to highlight. It's going to highlight the other formulae that the cell's interacting with, and that's a way for us to understand what's going on. But if you're a newcomer to Excel, you know you're not going to do that instinctively. So that's a good first step to be uh, click around the cells and just see because Excel Excel shows you visually. Um, uh, what cells that cell is interacting with. So getting used to doing things like that is really important. But then what about VBA? Well, the Visual Basic Editor provides some really nice features, um, well, what they call debugging features, because it helps you to debug or to fix what's going on. Some really nice features for doing that. And you'll see in the Visual Basic Editor, there's um, in the menus at the top, one of the titles is debug. And that gives you some great options for having a dialogue for the, with the Visual Basic Editor, for the Visual Basic Editor to tell you what's going wrong and for you to understand what's going wrong and to be able to fix that. So what are some of those options? Well, the one I find most useful is certainly the step into option. So if you're on a PC, you can you get this um, with the F8 key. And the best way to understand why, why code isn't working is to line up the two windows, uh, the Visual Basic Editor and the spreadsheet, and then just hit the F8 key. And as you hit the F8 key, a, a yellow highlighted line will appear, and then Excel will execute the code one line at a time. And this is a great way to understand the relationship between the code and what's going on in the spreadsheet. That is really, if you were to boil it down to a single key skill, that is what being a good Excel programmer, a good VBA programmer is about. It's about being able to translate what's going on in the spreadsheet uh, into uh, VBA and using the F8 key, using step into can allow us to do that. And there's another, there's a number of other useful features which I'm not gonna go into in too much detail here, but another thing we can do is put a stop in the code. So sometimes in my videos, I'll click in the little margin just to the left of the code and a little red circle will appear. And that, mean the code, that means that the code is gonna run until it gets to that point. So again, that's a good way for us to kind of work through the code and understand what's going wrong. And then Excel will tell us what's going wrong. You know, just by working through the code, Excel can give us an error. And if we can harness the tools that Excel provides, those debugging skills, uh, then we can adopt a different mindset about code. So the mindset is not, this is what I'm gonna do, and I expect it to work, which is very much your mindset in PowerPoint or Word. The mindset is, okay then, I've got quite a sophisticated task to do here, and I'm gonna sit down, not gonna expect it to work first time, and I'm gonna have a dialogue with Excel. But if you're in a meeting and you're trying to explain a task to somebody and the motivation for that task, the rationale or the vision or whatever, you wouldn't expect them to explain first time. You would expect to have a dialogue, a conversation about it. So that's a much better mindset uh, for working with code. And I really recommend getting to know the debugging tools in Excel that will help VBA and help you understand what's going on and communicate what's going on. It's gonna allow you to make the tweaks you need to make to get your code working. So that's what this video is all about. I hope it's helpful. And maybe you can try to adopt the mindset yourself, code as a conversation.